Well, we got another package. All right, let's check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Major Surplus. Feel free to check them out. They have a large variety of items. Again, Major Surplus and Survival is their full name, but you can look just on Major Surplus. So let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. And let's see if we can get this more towards the middle here. This is a large box. So let's see if we can open it this way. This is actually, looks like the bottom. Well, it might not be. I'm looking at the way it's written. Well, the packing label is on the other side, but they did a fold over with a flap. Let's see if there's a manifest or not. a little bit out of order because this is obscuring everything. You got a sneak peek right there, but we'll cover that in detail in a little bit. I just want to make sure that's not going to tip anything over. So let's start with the small objects first in this individually packaged Ziploc here. Very nice. So In bubble wrap, we just have a couple. Wow, these are heavier than I thought they would be. Kind of a nice to have item. In case. Uh, better to have than not have. In worst case scenario, wow. And better to have them out of the bubble wrap so they're easy to access. Potassium iodide radiation safety tablets. And these are from Lid Key. Pierced on the planet. 90 vegan capsules. I'm not too concerned about the vegan portion where they use gelatin or not, but dietary supplement. Directions and basically 32.5 milligrams per serving. Uh, the vegan portion and disclaimers distributed by Lidkey. So, kind of radiation. Uh, what they do are they block your particular ion receptors for potassium and that will help uh, I guess uh, prevent uh, radiation particle absorption particularly in tissue that is uh, susceptible to accumulation of radiation particles it's intended to block that, so we got two bottles of that. What else we got here? I must say they packed these pretty well. There's nothing that's broken. We have here with a label Radiac Meter 1M179 slash U Military Gamma Dose Rate Meter. 
stock number. Instructions as well. Let me take a look. I'm not sure what sort of batteries this uses or what I'm not. Uh... Hmm, these look like photocopies. Instruction manual for model M200, M100, M500, Mini Rad Radiac Meter. Jordan Electronics, Division of the Victorine Instrument Company, Alhambra, California. Well, everything's all stapled together. Oh, it's uh, Google. Interesting. It's a Google search. What the heck? So it's just a whole bunch of uh, informational sites on calibration of the instrument. Okay, good to know. I like the way this was um, cut here. Definitely a photocopy, but better to have than not have, I guess. date of this manual it has that very vintage look to it. Here's a schematic. Let's look at the device itself. Oh yeah, this is definitely dated here. A little bit of a scratch on the screen. It's not a crack. It's a scratch. But this again is dated. It looks like an inspection marking. Test and read buttons. I'm not going to press those right now because I don't want to do any additional battery drain. So here's your color codes for the range. Obviously green good, red bad. On the back. Looks like, this feels like a raised surface so that might be able to be removed and cleaned up. Serial number. Here's our description and stock number. Hmm. It's an FSN number. Heat Pipe Corp of America, Whippany, New Jersey. You know, the contract number. So, I'm not sure if this predates NSN numbers. I'm going to try to pry it apart. It looks like there's Phillips head there. Up. Oh, do we have a date? 2003, calibrated. So that wasn't too long ago. Uh, hmm. Only 19 years ago. Mm hmm. Pretty cool. I might have to ask somebody about uh, using this. There's a plus up there, too, as well. This is a hanging hook, so you can hang this from your hanger on your NBC suit. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here for now. Alright, next up are let's pick, so I pick a extra set of Swiss Alpenflage Battle Dress Pants. And these have some of the attachments for suspenders. Looks like a size 36 stapled onto there. So let me get this out of the way. Summary here. Let me see if I can find the front. You can see we have come on snaps that are triple snapped, or if you really are in a pinch, you can either let them out or in. We've got button fly with the green buttons. Two sets there, parallel to each other. One set of buttonholes, so you can adjust as needed, depending if you're wearing further liners underneath. Uh, pockets, We've got the slash pockets on the side with these gray linings. 
same on that side. Directly here, just so kind of uh, rubberized reinforcement areas that continue down the leg, past the knee, almost to the ankle. Got the large cargo pockets on the sides of the legs. Looks like there's an inner pocket, two inner pockets inside. Triple snaps on the top with back double set snaps parallel to help cinch them tighter if need be or looser if you're carrying large objects in the pockets. Uh, grommets at the bottom of the cargo pockets for drainage. Here we have cinch snaps below the knee. Two sets of those. One there, one here. And as we get to the cuffs, drawstrings. Should be parallel on the other side. Pockets, snap straps for retention towards the cuffs and the drawstring. If we look on the back, we have one pocket on the back. Behind this slash, behind both slash pockets actually are these zipper pockets. Actually, pass through, sorry, pass throughs. And no bottom reinforcement. We do have this, uh, these leg straps here that wrap around. So it will help uh, keep these from billowing out, say, in high wind conditions. Also to help uh, tighten those up as well, in case you want to keep things from moving around too much. Got a label. Okay. And then last, okay, we got the largest object here. British PLCE DPM camel rucksack used. You see a little bit of sun bleaching here. So this might have been actually out and about. So I believe this is top to bottom. Let's quickly go over it. On the top flap, we've released two buckles. We also have a zipper in the top compartment up here sizable kind of a handle with two side uh, attachment points there two more here in the back of the flap two more at the front of the flap we also have these areas reinforcing the top portions of the attachment buckles drawstring and the zipper Plasticized zipper teeth. I'm gonna leave that for now. And let's see. Let's see about this port here. You can see we have a large drawstring, kind of a neck top in the back. Let's see here, hook and latch with snaps three of those there are the frame all the way down to the back I can feel it right down to here I believe it is aluminum I'm gonna keep the weight down is not sticking. I'm not sure what alloy these are either. But we'll catch that later. And do you see a little okay, that's just the color. Trying to see why the light is shining through there. 
Uh, no other inner pockets I can see. You feel something loose down here. I don't know what's this. I found a lithium manganese dioxide cell. Hello. A bonus. Okay, so here's the frame. Now it decides to want to come out. Let's see how it's actually accordion that way. Let's see if we secure at least this little one so it won't slide out on us. Okay, we'll just flat back in for now. So you can see the drawstring around there. Very small grommets, keep the dampness out if possible. Uh, looks like we have another little flap here over this outer pocket here. So again, here's the flap up here. We're working our way down the back here. So, we got the pouch. See some reinforcement in here. Working way down, we got three pockets here with grommets for drainage, drain holes there. Those are the straps for the top flap. These all have buckles and hook and latch to keep these down. Looks like inner pockets on each of these with some flexible expansion. This one does not have that, nor this one. So only the middle one has a divider in there. On both sides we have these large side pockets with zipper tops and a drawstring. Pretty deep from here to here. Likewise on this side. Also these attachment straps so you can attach other stuff also inside of here as well. There's these little inner straps and also on this side. So there's lots of little attachment points if you need to rig stuff on the outside to carry and you don't want to keep them on the inside for whatever reason. Okay, whether it be brush, extra foliage or actual physical objects okay quick look at the bottom strap at the bottom to grab onto one of these also to grab onto it looks like attachment buckles for uh, additional let's say an assault pack uh, a day pack whatever um, right here we can see the waist belt Enforcement points. I can see some writing here for somebody. If that's you, I got your pack. Thank you. Got the large shoulder straps. It's like a little bit of tape here for some reason. It feels intact, so maybe uh, that was uh, for attaching something similarly here. Some extra reinforcement tape on the handle here for whatever reason. And these are more attachment and kind of sizing straps for the shoulder straps as well. So, pretty cool. It's so working our way backwards. British PLCE DPM camo rucksack used. Swiss Alpen Flage Battle Dress Pants. And we started off with a couple bottles of potassium iodide and a radiac meter for radiation detection. These all came from Major Surplus. Feel free to check them out at Major Surplus. And survival. Let's see if I can get the logo up here. There we go. We got a large variety of items, so feel free to check them out. 
this has been another unboxing video feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel we also do show and tell videos on vintage mill surf tools and expanded topics and we also do a selection of book review media reviews and a series called curios for the curious videos on more artsy type objects feel free to check all those out feel free to like and subscribe thanks for watching see you next time